How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. I uh, decided to take a little break from the JCOD DMP content and just uh, just show everybody the tank, uh, especially because I, I recently went to the uh, coral show that is an annual deal put on by Reefing USA in Memphis uh, and got some really choice frags. And I got frags for the nano tank, which me and my kid are kind of rebooting. Um, I'll show that in a separate video, but I'll show you the new coral that I got for my main system here today. Um, and yeah, I'll, I, I'm, I plan to do a really comprehensive podcast episode on the JCON DMP itself, uh, as like, you know, the star of the show, since I've tested it so much. And for the record, I know you can still see that I have Nero's, uh, in this tank here. That is because I still have more test videos to come and comparative videos between the different DMP models. So I want them to be flexible so that I can, you know, utilize them for testing but I am really looking forward to finally just getting those on the tank. I'm starting to get anxious about it. I, I really want those on my tank. So uh, be looking for that content in the future here. But uh, the tank is doing really good. Um, the Quanta Pros just flipped on. So the corals are not, you know, fully out yet. Like you can see that the Elegance has not, you know, fully, uh, fully brought itself to form yet. But um the rest of the corals are looking pretty good right now, and I've got 30 minutes, so I figured I would I would take you guys through and just show you that, you know, especially on like my Montes, I'm starting to get some pretty solid growth on those. Not super fast growth or anything like that, but growth that I can notice, and I'm really enjoying that. And all of the LPS, as always, that but with the exception of the A cans that my fox face loves to chew on, the LPS in the tank is doing really really good. I'm constantly, constantly cutting back the GSP. I have to take those rocks out individually and cut the GSP off of them like once a month now, which is starting to get annoying, but frankly, I love the accent look of them, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, at this coral show, for the few pieces that I picked up for my own system, I got this beautiful Blasto right here. Now bear with me, because I'm terrible about names of coral. So I'm sure that this Blasto has some kind of, you know, fancy name about it. It's really happy in the tank after a few days. Um, but I, I, for the life of me, I can't remember what the uh, vendor told me the name was. And I don't really pay attention to coral names. When I go to a coral show, I'm getting coral that I want to get that looks good to my eye. I'm not really concerned about some kind of flashy name or like being able to tell people exactly what this is or where what you know coral breeder or coral uh you know coral farmer first propagated this thing i don't really care about that i just look for a decent price and if it catches my eye i'm like great so uh here's another piece i got a lot of monty so you can see right there on the very end i got a piece of monty that's like red and green and it matches this piece down here. So I was kind of going for like, you know, a red and green Monty on both sides. I'm sure I have too much Monopora in this tank. And eventually, you know, in a couple of years, it'll all be growing into each other, provided that I, you know, keep the tank stable enough. Uh, you can see that the Monopora that I had in here, this piece here, that piece there, they are growing out quite a bit. The branching Monty is really going strong in this tank. You can see how much the Anacropora is growing out in this tank. So I, by the way, look at this green Monty right there. I know it's really dark to the eye. It's not that dark. It looks really beautiful, but with a coral lens on, you can't really tell. It's like a, it's not quite a forest green. It's a little bit lighter than that. But anyway, I got this piece here also at the coral show right there, dead center. I got that for 20 bucks because you can see there's a little bit of damage or whatever um on the very side of it the guy was like hey 20 bucks you know it's 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 a little bit it's struggling a little bit on this corner so i mean that was fine with me i'll see if i can get that thing to heal and grow out if it doesn't work out i'm 20 bucks down it's not a big deal but it would be cool to have a nice you know big plate in there like that and then my favorite piece that i got is actually right here and it's difficult to see it's dead center frame right now let me zoom in See the yellow streak on there? There's like a streak with, you know, yellow bits um, and then red is the backdrop of it. 
I really love that piece. I think that's beautiful. That was a Jason Fox piece. Jason Fox himself was at this uh, frag show, or this coral show, which was awesome. He's super nice. He was really nice to my kid. I really appreciated that. He had some he had some big like colony sized pieces that he was looking to get rid of for like 40 bucks a pop. And I, I didn't do it because I kind of enjoy the journey of getting a decent sized frag, not too small of a frag, but a decent frag and then growing it out on my own and knowing like, hey, I did that, you know, I, that feels good. So I opted to not get like a big piece for 40 bucks, but I very much considered it because there were a couple of choice pieces that he had for a ridiculously low price for a Jason Fox piece. But I was like, nah, I'm going to get, you know, I got this beautiful, I just love that, that little, it's like a gem in there. So I'm really hoping that one does well. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm extremely happy with the way that the tank is going right now. I'm just so anxious to get those DMPs on the tank. I think they look cool. They function great. JBow updated the app at my request and added functionality to control the random flow mode. So I'm good there. I just have more testing to do. I got to put them all in the tank with one another and kind of test flow rates and stuff. You can hear my, the puppy that we got is, is squeaking her toy right now. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a good update. Anyhow, if you have any questions about any of it, um, go ahead and hit me up. No problem. And if you want to know anything more about the DMP, since I'm really focusing on that a lot lately, then hit me up on uh, Instagram, Kalamazoo Reefer, same exact name. Take it easy, guys.